The truth does not matter. This is something that I have been contemplating, pondering, been working on for the last 15 years. One of the things that I'm beginning to understand is YouTube is a group of people, they're, they're cheering sections. You know, if you have a group of people who like you, it really doesn't matter what you say. It really doesn't matter what you say. Because one of the things that I found to be very puzzling, take this housing crash thing. The housing market has been crashing for like the last four years, right? But the people who are participating in the housing market are finding that the housing market is getting more expensive. It's hard to get a house at a decent price. It's hard to get a mortgage at a decent price. So the people who are in the housing market know there's no crash. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, about nine YouTube channels I could think of off just top of my head who keep saying the housing market's crashing, the housing market's crashing, the housing market's crashing, but it ain't crashing. It's not crashing. And then, you know, this whole thing. Uh, I was having a conversation with someone who's gonna be helping me with something in the future, and I don't care how many ways I say it, I don't care how many ways I put it down, that starting a business, a successful business, is the fastest way for you to make money. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I ran into someone the other day, and we were talking, and he's in the stock world, and he has a website, and just the stuff he told me blew my mind, just blew my mind. This guy's very, very successful with his stock uh, teaching business, extremely successful. And what I'm here, what I'm really, really starting to see is what people want to believe. That is the strongest thing with YouTube, TikTok. Um, I put something up about nurses. There was a number of nurses who were making these TikTok videos, but I had people saying, hey, you know, you can make this, you can do this, you can be a travel nurse, you can do this, you can do this. And I was like, but the truth, it doesn't matter. It's all about what people believe. And one of the things that we can see is like, I really believe we're gonna have a recession in 2024, I really believe. But, 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 does that really matter? Because yesterday was college football, right? And I, I observe, all of the stadiums were full. We're supposed to be in a situation where the economy's bad, people are struggling, but all of these college football stadiums were full. Turn on the TV today, look at NFL football. All of the NFL stadiums are full. So here's this guy, I'm this guy on the YouTube talking about the economy's bad, all this stuff is going, this stuff is happening. But if you were to just casually look at the college football stadiums, to casually look at the NFL stadiums to casually look at the things that are that are really going on in this so-called bad economy, you really don't see it. You really don't see it unless you are in a situation where you actually personally know certain things. But if you're just a guy working a job, you go to work, you come home, you live in the neighborhood, all your neighbors are doing the same thing. It doesn't really matter. And th this is something that's a little hard for me to accept, but one of the things is, this is the reality, the reality of the world, because one of the things 
that I consistently see, consistently, is that people want to make a lot of money doing certain things. And as long as they believe, that's the key, that, that's the key. As long as they believe they can do it, doesn't matter how many times they try and fail, doesn't matter. And this is one of the things, um, I'm beginning to get a better understanding of why my content fails. Because essentially, I am talking about, you know, doing things the right way, saving your money, having an emergency fund. <laughs> why, Glennon, why have an emergency fund when you could be a millionaire in the next six months? It makes no sense. Just go ahead and get this money. And I, I'm seeing and I'm seeing and I'm seeing and I'm looking because, like I said, I, I met with some people and the results were astonishing. They were really astonishing what I was seeing people able to do when people believe something. They believe something is true. Once again, doesn't matter if it's true. Doesn't matter if there's evidence. Doesn't matter if it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And this is something that just came to me. I was watching a college football game and it just hit me. It's like the truth doesn't matter. It just came out of nowhere. Just just filled up my head the, the truth doesn't matter. And one of the things that I'm getting ready to do is to make some big, big changes, some some big, big changes. So just look out for that. I'm getting ready to do something very, very different because one of the things that I see is, you know, I see what happened. There, there's a girl, according to Nicole, she's a girl up in Canada. Um, she just talks about her life. Her channel's blowing up. There's no special editing. She does nothing with thumbnails. There's another guy, Sam Olick. He's a bodybuilder. He doesn't edit. He just pulls screenshots. Channel's just blowing up. Um, and also, this is something I saw with one of my videos, a few of my videos. There was no editing. There was nothing. It was just, uh, I just put it out there. I just put it out there. And I'm beginning to see, because I, I had a conversation with some other people this week. Like I said, you know, I'm getting ready to make a lot of changes, a lot of changes. Because, you know, let's talk about shorts. Everyone is pushing shorts. Everyone is pushing shorts. And when you see a video talking about shorts and everyone's pushing shorts, you will see, you go in the comment section, you'll see that a lot of people, shorts have hurt them. And it doesn't matter. Shorts is the greatest thing since bread. It, it doesn't matter. So, because there are many people who believe that shorts are good. Once again, that's the key. They, they believe, they believe. And as long as they have that belief, they're gonna keep believing, they're gonna keep performing, they're gonna keep doing certain things. And I am a person I used to have this saying, don't hate the blunt, don't hate the, don't hate the player, don't hate the game. I forget the, what was that saying? Don't hate the game, don't hate the player, learn how to win, learn how to win. Don't hate the game, don't hate the player, learn how to win. And right now, I am seeing some things that have really activated a different thought process in my mind because one of the things is, um, like, I'll never, never show receipts again. I actually thought from a, I was stupid, I'll say this, I was stupid. I thought that coming in YouTube and showing receipts and showing bank accounts and showing high credit limits and showing, I thought that would be one of the best things in the world. It's like, okay, this is what this guy says, and this is the results he got. 
The showing of receipts arguably is one of the worst things I've ever done in life. The amount of hate, the amount of stuff that I got. And if you noticed, you're not seeing any more receipts from me. I will never show another bank account. I will never show, because once again, the truth doesn't matter. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way. I actually thought showing receipts and all this other stuff, mm -mm, it's not, it's not. Now, let me go ahead and parse that. If a group of people are watching you like you, you can show receipts. If a group of people who are watching you, they, they don't like you, you cannot show receipts. And if you have a group of people who like you, at some point, if you're showing receipts, that will come back to haunt you. That will come back to haunt you at some point because people will keep track of everything you say, everything you do. And I will say the showing of receipts was one of the stupidest things that I've ever done. And I did not know what this was going to get me until actually I went through the process. Like Sonny Linda Duzeri. She's easy to find. Go ahead and put Sunny L-E-N-A-D-A into the Google. It'll bring her up. Uh, Sunny is a multimillionaire. She doesn't show receipts. She doesn't show her house. She doesn't show her car. She shows none of this stuff. And I've come across other people who are on similar levels or doing better and one of the things that I have come to understand is you got to work with the, your audience. And this is something else too. Um, I found this to be very, very intriguing. Um, audiences. Your audience is how can I say this? Your audience is like distant relatives, so to speak. You know, they will find you. It, it was just, I had something that I'm not really gonna get into that I found to be patently fascinating. And one of the things that I have learned from my process is number one, the truth doesn't matter. Truth doesn't matter. Uh, number two, what people believe is greater than the truth. What, what do I mean by that? If people believe that this thing is going to do something, even if it doesn't, even if it has a record of failing, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, these people will stick with this thing. They will stick with it, tried and true, and they will keep on. And someone left a comment and it was like the majority of people have an IQ less than 100. And I saw that and I was like, that's an interesting comment. I didn't respond to it. But as I go along through this thought process, as I go ahead and I look and I listen and I, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Why does that make a lot of sense? What was one of the biggest things in the 90s was huge, huge, and people loved it, and it was 100% fake. What was that? Wrestling, WWE. It was a show, fake show, people bouncing around the ring doing stuff, it was 100% fake. People loved it. John Cena, uh, dang, Hulk Hogan, uh, they completely, utterly loved this thing and it wasn't real. It wasn't real. And I'm getting here, I'm sitting there like, and it became a billion dollar, a multi-billion dollar enterprise. This thing that wasn't built on anything real. It was 100% showmanship and it became a multi-billion dollar enterprise. 
and I was just sitting there like, you know, sometimes I am just stupid as the day is long. I am stupid, but sometimes I wake up and go, oh, so it, the truth doesn't matter. And that, that's kind of like one of my core tenets, but it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it just simply doesn't matter. And the more that I stick with the truth, the more that I operate from that, the more damage that I do to myself. Um, that's one of the things that, you know, like, um, I just took Friday and Saturday off. I didn't do anything. I didn't even, I didn't even come into my office. I was just sitting around watching TV. Like yesterday was interesting. You know, I don't think this is going to happen, but a lot of people are saying Alabama is a favorite to win the national championship. Mm, I don't think that's going to happen because Alabama's got to beat Georgia probably twice. And we already seen how that happens. I don't think that's going to happen. I think what's going to happen if Georgia doesn't repeat as a three times national champion, I think maybe Michigan or Ohio State will do it. I think that's what's going to happen. And but, you know, there's people who want to believe that and own that and own that. And, you know, and I'm just sitting there like, you know, if it happens, I'll be happy because uh, I'm an Alabama fan. But the reality is there's a lot they got to go through. There's a lot they got to go through. And another thing is the reality of the world, the reality of the situation. So uh, I'm getting ready to do some things very, very differently. Very, very differently. Um, I have a bunch of channels. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these channels. And this, this is something else too. I, I had someone that's like, why are you, how many channels are you going to create? And I didn't even answer. And as soon as I saw it, I said, as many as I need to. And that's something else too. Having ambition and working hard. No, 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 no. That's a no, no having an ambition, working hard to build. No, no. And this is one of the things that, you know, Sonny, Linda, there's a Sonny, uh, some other people. Um, they, they were really smart. They never showed their personal life. They never showed the results. They just kept doing their things. Very, very smart because when you do something and you build something, you can kind of create a scenario of hate. A, a big scenario of hate. And one of the things that will happen with this hate, people will watch you to watch you fail. They will not watch you to watch you win, to watch you be successful. Um, no, 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 no. And this is one of the things that these uh, smart, I will say they're really, really smart. They've avoided that because they did not get into the stupidity that I believed in, the stupidity. And I'm gonna say it, it was stupid. It was 100% stupid. Um, because the truth doesn't matter. There is, uh, there was someone who left a comment for me to talk about, I don't even know her name. She's on JT Pocket Watching about this lady who lied to have this $100 million trucking company. And someone wants me to do a video about that and I was like, I'm not going to do a video about that because that's just not my type of content. If she's fake, she's a fraud. Okay, JT pocket watches, he got that. But they, I, this is something I get all the time. It's like, will you do a video on this? Will you? And these videos have nothing to do with the economy. They have nothing to do with making money. They have nothing to do with building. They have nothing to do with that. But this is what people want me to do because this is the type of content that people want me to, to put out. And once again, I'm just sitting here, I'm listening. It's what people want to believe. The truth doesn't matter. And, you know, it's getting to be quite eye opening for me as I just sit down and I look at the reality of the situation, the reality of the situation. 
And this is, this is going to become like a mantra. I may start meditating on this. The truth doesn't matter. The truth doesn't matter. The truth doesn't, it doesn't matter. And this is one of the things because I know from personal experience, you can make money in a bad economy. I know this from personal experience. However, if that's not your belief system, if that's not something you believe in, that's not something that you understand, it ain't, you're not gonna make money in the bad economy because you don't believe that you can make money in the, because what you believe in is everything. I know for a fact that I can make money in a crappy economy. I've done it multiple times. So for me, that's my truth and that's my belief system, but for you, what is your belief system? What things are you paying attention to? What do you believe in? Because once again, belief is everything. And like I said, there are about nine YouTube channels that I know of that are talking about a fake housing crisis that hasn't come. And I'll take a few steps back. I was talking about the United States economy was weak and during the pandemic, one of the reasons that it did so bad because it was so weak to begin with. And I, I get a lot of people who hate the fact that I bring up stuff like that and talk about um, the economy and everything because they don't want to believe that it's real. And once again, you know, you, you believe in what you want to believe. You can believe in what you want to believe. I have no choice over that. You, what you believe in is your choice, it's your paradigm. But one of the things that I have seen is people are really interesting. Uh, I, like I read all the comments and I, I get so many comments that are just full of differences of opinion. I'm not gonna say hate because I will say the majority of the comments are positive. So it's not, the comments are not with hating. The majority of the comments are positive. And one of the things that I see is that people want for someone to be kind of close to where they are and just a little bit ahead of them. They don't want someone that's a million miles ahead of them. Or if they are, they gotta play the role. Like I remember, earn your leisure. Uh, the guy, I think his name's Rashad, he was talking about the glasses, the watch, the pajamas, the Earn Your Leisure logo, the shoes. And there is a community that accepts that as gospel. There's a community that really, really accepts that, even though it has nothing to do with making money. It has nothing, to, it could have something to do with branding. You know, that would have made, you know, if that was your brand. But I just look at the things that I see and the things that I was thinking about. And I'm like, it, it, the truth doesn't matter, man. The truth doesn't matter. And you've got, I, I got to let that go. I got work to do on me. I got work to do on me. I got work to do on my thought process and my position because I see things all over the internet that I know are not true. I know it. I have the statistical data, the experience, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as people believe these things to be true, as long as people think these things are capable, this is what they're gonna go for. Doesn't matter if it's impossible, doesn't matter if it, no, 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 no. As long as that person believes, that's everything. That is everything. And one of the things that really, really, that I have, to work, I gotta work on so hard is getting away from dealing with things from a, position of truth. Give you a good example. There's a girl by the name of Sarah Finance. Young girl. She may be 22 now. And she has come on the internet and she has said things and she's gotten attacked. There's some people who've come from her 
And once again, Sarah is very, very smart. When they came for her, she kind of did some things a little differently. She adjusted her content. Then she went right back to doing what she was doing. And she's very successful as a TikToker. She's very successful as a YouTuber. She makes a lot of money on both. And Sarah lies every day. She just lies. But the thing is, it doesn't matter that Sarah lies. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is her audience believes what she says is possible. And based upon the growth of her YouTube channel, growth of her TikTok, people believe they're buying in, they're buying in. And for me, it's, it's like from a conscious level, I just can't come here and just situate and lie about things I know. I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. However, I am beginning to see a way where I can adjust my content where I'm not lying, where my content makes more sense with the beliefs that people have without lying. Because I, I just can't come here and just start lying and say, I, like, for me to start a real estate channel talking about real estate prices are crashing and all this other stuff, when I personally know that ain't true, I, I can't do that. I just can't do that. However, I can make adjustments. And this is something that I'm gonna work on, making adjustments and everything. Because one of the things is, I like to do experiments, and I've been doing a lot of experiments, and the results have been kind of eye-opening. They've been really, really eye-opening for me. So, we got a lot of work to do, a lot of things to work on, a lot of things to build, a lot of things to actually uh, get into. So be looking at that. But yeah, I am getting ready to make some changes. I'm getting ready to do some things differently. Um, I got some stuff. I've got some pretty hard won data that I got from business that I'll be putting in the training and stuff because right now, the world is very, very different. The world is very, very different. But the truth does not matter. That's gonna become my mantra. And it, this doesn't mean that people are stupid or anything. No, 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 no. People are operating on a very high level of hope. Now, this is something actually I do believe in. I do believe in manifestation, but I don't believe just sitting there and it's like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. No, I believe you manifest, then you have the right thought process, and then you actually take the right actions. And the law of action is very, very big. But yeah, it's, it's very, very different what's going on because there will be people who will not feel the recession. They're not going to feel it at all. They're going to be out getting their lobster legs, their, their crab legs, I think crab legs, and eating steak, and they're never, they're never gonna feel it. They're never gonna feel it. And one of the things that I have got to see, because I gotta kinda look back, and this is one of the reasons I took down all of the content, because I have a good group of people, so thank you, I really appreciate the support, but there's another kind of group of folks who just come who are just, I don't even know, I don't even have words to describe their behavior. I, I, I don't even have words to describe them. But they just come and I know from doing YouTube, the content that I put out is the reason that I have the audience that I have, 100%. So we gotta start putting out a different level of content. That's one of the things we gotta work on. So this is something that I'm working through. I'm gonna be working on it all next week. And it's gonna be very, very different. Very, very different. So just thought I'd put this out here. We'll talk to you guys in the next one.